Kiswahili. Naona hapo mnaposubiri atachekesha Kiswahili ama Kiingereza. <laughs> Guys leo nimefurahi sana serious. Kwa wote ambao mpo hapa, uh, leo ni siku yangu kubwa sana in my life. Uh, in my life hii ni siku kubwa kwa sababu ni, ni mwaka 2011 ilikuwa ndoto yangu kuwa comedian, especially stand up comedian. And then kipindi hicho nilikuwa mwalimu wa sekondari. Kabisa a teacher, mwalimu. Eh eh ule unapokea mshahara mwisho wa mwezi. Tarehe 25 ndo unapokea mshahara. And I was a teacher. Sasa wakati nataka kuwa comedian, uh, mtu akaniambia unaweza kuwa comedian kama Churchill. Nikaanza kumwangalia Churchill, akawa role model wangu toka mwaka 2011. Nikatoka Tanzania, nikaja mpaka Kenya. Nikamuona nikasema nikimuona kwa macho ndio nitaamini. Nikamfata, nikamuona nikamwambia kwa sasa mimi ni mwalimu ila napenda sana stand up comedy. Akasema kama kweli unapenda comedy acha walimu fata comedy. Na nilivyorudi Tanzania I do the same. I quit teaching na nikafata comedy. Ni miaka 11, eh, miaka toka 2011, miaka 7 imepita na sasa niko Kenya kwa mara nyingine. Please put your hands together for Churchill for that very nice thing. Na honestly, me being in Kenya, seriously, yani unajua ukiwa Kenya na unatoka Tanzania, being in Kenya seriously ni kama vile upo Marekani. It is like you are in USA because everyone is speaking English. Popote unapita tu you can say yo please come here. What is that? Those are the thing wewe kusikia Tanzania. Wewe kukuta mtu ukisikia mtu anaongea Kiingereza yo please come here. Unaona you are in the office. Lakini moja ya kitu kimenifurahisha sana au kinafanya hata watu wa Tanzania Wachache tuongee Kiingereza ni kwa sababu ya shuleni. Juu tumefunzwa kila somo kwa Kiswahili. Mathematics kwa Kiswahili. E, Kiswahili chenyewe kwa Kiswahili. Kemia kwa Kiswahili. Na hata Kiingereza tumefundishwa kwa Kiswahili. Juu mwalimu anaingia <laughs> mnasema hapa good morning sir ayakaeni. Na ni mwalimu wa Kiingereza anaanza kiswahili. Leo tutajifunza kuhusu hii na shi. Mmenielewa? <laughs> na unajua sisi tulikuwa tunajifunza mostly tulikuwa tuna, tuna tu, ukiongea uh, upo darasani na ukaongea uh, Kiswahili. Eh, in the class ulikuwa unavalishwa kibao kimeandikwa speak English. Eh, na kila kibao ukivalishwa you can even be you can, you can be very talkative in the class. Yo, please come here. Ukivalishwa kibao unanyamaza kimya. <laughs> na wao ndio muda unaweza hata ukaongea lugha za za kibububububu. Unajua ukivalishwa kile hata unataka peni. Nese ba. Aba ba 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 ba. Abebe. Aja ba ba. Sasa unajua hata hiyo mimi ilinitokea lakini mimi unajua darasani nilikuwa napenda kukaa backbenchers. Na unajua raya kukaa backbenchers in the class anayekaa mbele yako shati awe na kichwa kikubwa kama chipukizi. <laughs> Ili akusaidie kujificha wakati mwalimu anatafuta mtu wa kuvolunteer. You know that moment mwalimu anasema ah uh, naomba mtafute X naomba wewe wewe afu na wewe unaanza kujificha kwa mtu unaenda naye sasa usiombe yule wa mbele yako ainame kuokota <laughs> kitu <laughs> eh na mimi sasa nilikuwa nimeshavalishwa hiyo na nikiwa nimeshavalishwa hiyo speak english and then you know when i was in the class backstage nika nikasema ah, nafikiri nataka nataka kwenda chooni sasa unajua hapo unaanza kufikiria na umeshavalishwa ile speak english na kweli unataka kwenda sasa namna ya kuondoka eh, inabidi uage kwa Kiingereza. Na unajua kwa kadri unavyozidi kubanwa na haja ndogo hata Kiingereza kidogo kilichokuepo kinapotea. 
Unajua? <laughs> na mimi na mimi ndo nimesikwa. Unajua umesikwa mpaka nikaamua acha nisimame liwalo na liwe. Unajua umesimama haja ndogo inazidi kubana nimekuwa kama naendesha basikeli sasa. <laughs> Unajua mpaka nikaamua no I will speak any English which I understand. Kasema please madam. Me. Cholo lo 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 lo. You know, but you know, you know, you know I'm also very single. One of the things I may find in Kenya is to see wasichana wa Kenya very beautiful. If you are here and you are very beautiful, say hi. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> eh na unajua na ndio maana hata nimejaribu kuongea nani when i want to marry a kenyan kwa kweli nimempenda msichana mmoja ni mkenya na ni mzuri na ni very beautiful na nyinyi mnamjua vizuri sana anaitwa mamito put your hands together for mamito oh i love mamito unajua hata nilimpiga picha leo nimeweka kwenye instagram page yangu ya msipilipili na nikamtumia bibi yangu You see nyanya yangu yuko swaswa dodoma na nyanya alivoangalia ah you know akasema oh anafanana na mimi hasa nywele kichwa chake kile hasa <laughs> anafanana na you know uh, katika mapenzi au mahusiano you know mimi i don't know well about your partner but lakini pamoja na vitu vingi unavoangalia unapompenda mtu ni pamoja na ulefu hivi ulefu ndo hate ama hate ni nini you know i come from tanzania because when you see mtu anahangaika kwenye kiingereza hapo jua ametokea tanzania hiyo ni nini ni tallness ni hate ah, you see now hiyo hiyo eh e hate eh levity dada ulikuwa wa mwisho naomba unyamaze Please ni hate ya wote. Ah okay. Ni hate lakini. Eh eh. Ah hate sawa. <laughs> Sasa unajua unapo unapo leo you know wewe if you are a girl na unakuwa mfupi na mume wako a, a husband ama mchumba anatakiwa awe mrefu. You see? Sasa anza kufikiria. How about do you have somebody who you are thinking about nothing? Sababu najua wale watu wako kwenye mapenzi hata ukipigwa wimbo wa mapenzi you know ukipigwa kwa wimbo wa mapenzi eh kama ule wa malaika ule wanyashiski au upigwe my love wa west life unajua ukipigwa wimbo kama my love wa west life sio unaimboaje ule yani kiingereza nini kazi my love si nini ni si nini unaimboaje amani sekondari nyie mjamani west life Unajua kipindi hicho hupo kwenye mapenzi kama utumii nyimbo za West Life. You know ile nyimbo inapigwa Asa kila nikifikiria nyimbo hiyo zinakuja za Tanzania. Sikuwa ni kwa nini? When I think about West Life na wimbo wa Ali Kiba unakuja. Unavuruka kichwa changu. Disturbance. Hey. Sasa unajua ule wimbo ukipigwa na mbo kwenye daladala if you see someone is going deep You know wimbo ule unapigwa na mtu ana feel unajua yupo kwenye mahusiano. Sasa wewe kama uko single upigwe wimbo wa mapenzi. Kila ukifunga macho hivi inakuja sula ya Robert Mugabe. <laughs> <laughs> lakini lakini unajua <laughs> unapokuwa unapokuwa na, na, na mtu ambaye anakupenda mrefu kidogo and you are here you, you know For, first of all for protection. You know hata mkiwa mnatembea juu msichana akiwa yuko hapa chini, you know for protection, hata anakuangalia hivi yuko, hata ukiulizwa, so where is your husband? You can just you look at this, you know? This is my husband. I love him very much. Oh, oh my gosh. You know he is here. Yo. Hey. What? Hey. Hey. Ah. Tanzania kwa kuhama jamani. Sema usiseme sema unaama kule kwa rais huyu tulie naye sasa. Tanzania kwa kukaa. For hey hey hate hiyo. Eh, sasa ukiwa na ukiwa na mume wako mfupi kama mimi. For introduction inasumbua. You know even people asking you, kwa hiyo mume wako yuko wapi? Alikuepo hapa. Si, yani, 
Yaani you know Unaweza ukuta mume wako amekalia kibeliti ha maana unaonekana ya Eh, on again up. Lakini you know, uh, uh, one of the things also I like, you know, about Kenya is his slang queens. Oh. Najua wako wasichana huwezi jua kama anatokea ushago. Juu ya kile Kiingereza kinatokea hapa. Oh. Oh. You know, na mkiwa kwenye mahusiano, English lazima iwepo. English is very romantic in relationship. If you are in relationship na ujui kiingereza tafadhali nenda English course because you know you have to call baby sio huyu ni bibi yangu bibi yako what is that this is my baby my boo oh you see english have to be there lazima iwepo na hata ukiwa una organize eh una organize uh, kwenda kumpa surprise eh msichana wako you have to do it in english kwanza kwenye call you know you call hello baby please can i give you a surprise in english ukimwambia hivyo can i give you a surprise then oh my god anaweza atakavua wiki oh my god lakini usijifanye usijifanye wewe ni mtanzania ama kiswahili unatumia kiswahili pa kwenye mahusiano eh sasa baada ya ile baby hello mtoto Naomba nikuletee mshtuko. Unaletaje mshtuko? Lakini unajua wasichana hao hata umpangie msichana unataka kumvisha pete. You know and she know kwamba unamvisha pete. Na anahisi unajua hata ukifika kama pale Panara Hotel. Just two of you mmefika pale mmeandaliwa meza. Eh? Ime, umewekwa maua. And you know kabisa hapa na vishwa pete. You know everything there is romantic. Kila kitu kiko na nini vizuri. Na wasichana sijui ni kwa nini. Hata aelewe kinachotokea, atajifanya hajui. She's there na kila kitu pale kinaongea kuhusu mapenzi. Anajifanya uh, tumekuja hapa kwenye seminar au uh, ili kuchochea ile surprise. You know she's there. Na umefika pale, alafu unaenda uh, ume, umeenda huko na, na na pete yako sasa. Eh yeah, umefika pale umeenda uko na pete lazima umwambie close your eyes anafumba macho sasa akifunga macho siju kwa nini msichana hata ushike kidole chake cha pete na umeja chake kidole chake cha pete bado anauliza baby what are you doing unaambia sasa mimi nitakufanyia pedi kiwa unaingiza pete pete kabisa she can feel it pete inaingia Bado anza baby what is going on? Nitamwambia babu wino anapita. Mana alafu ukifungua macho ukakuta pete. If you are a girl, lazima uwe surprised in English. Wewe kutumia lugha yako ya ushago. Woi! Woo! Ah ah. Inatakuwa ile. Wow! Hata kama una vinywele vifupi. Oh my gosh! Sasa wasichana mbo wawili na pete ile ya kwake bado anauliza wow baby is this for me <laughs> unaambia ya waita hii maana you are not serious guys thank you very much i'm sipiripiri washawasha thank you